So you talked about life, Coogee. Let's spin the block, man, and let's take things back to the beginning. You are from Milwaukee, right? Yes, I am from Milwaukee. So anybody's getting confused because I've seen them hip hop is real interviews where niggas are trying to make it seem like I'm from, like I'm, like I'm, like that's a home game or something for me. Let me tell you something. If you're, I'm battling in Baltimore, that's not the same thing as battling in Harlem, mm. is it? Word. That's a fact. That's, that's a snap of fact. If I battle Two in Brooklyn, completely different if I, worlds. If I battle in Brooklyn, is it the same thing battle in North Carolina? Not at all. Just because it's the East Coast don't mean it's the same shit. It's Midwest niggas that don't fuck with Midwest niggas like it's East Coast niggas that fuck with, don't fuck with East Coast motherfuckers. So in all reality, some they, they, in, they've been in different boroughs in New York. Brooklyn might be a whole different world for motherfuckers Staten Island or, you know what I'm saying, the Bronx or whatever the case may be. So it's like, end of the day, man, I'm trying to make it seem like I was at home, bro. I'm not from I'm not from Ohio, bro. I'm not I'm not at home. I'm from Milwaukee, bro. I'm How was Milwaukee. it for Cool G coming up when you were younger, like teenage days? Were you in the streets coming up, Cool G? Did you have you know? Were you always into music as you know a youngster, like even in high school? Like, how was it for Cool G coming up in Milwaukee? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother from 23rd and Keith. I've, I've been the. Uh, I've been like I said. I've uh, I've always been out. Everybody know that know me from my hood knows I've always been outside. I've okay. always been out. We are either we at school, we at school and shit wrestling, doing WWE moves on each other outside or motherfucking. You know what I'm saying at the park hooping and shit, man. I fucking with hoes and shit. You know what I'm saying doing a bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying I always been rapping and shit. Always, I always I've been rapping since I was fucking in first grade. There's niggas that's in first grade with me that will tell you, like, tell you, well, yeah, Coogee's been rapping since he was like in elementary. Like, dog been beating on tables, rapping in the lunchroom, rapping in the bathroom, beating on the walls, doing all that shit. So it's like, 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 like battling. That's how I met my uh boy, my uh, my boy Young Ruffin. I met him in high school, and we battled. That's how I met my boy Ruffin and shit. So. So it's like, I always, like I said, I always, I've been doing this shit since forever and shit. Does anybody know me is I've always been outside. I mean, I've always been in the streets with niggas and shit. It's studios, bando studios, trap house studios, all that shit. All the killers, all the niggas know me. I know them. We all from the same hood. You feel me? Now, you've been rapping, like you said, since a child. Were, have you always went by the name Coogee? Like, let the people know where this uh, LL Coogee no, name no, came no, about. I had, no, I used to no no I used to be new because everybody know my real name Corbell. So I used to be uh I used to uh, my rap name used to be Ice B. <laughs> Ice B. Okay. I lucky I changed it because it's gonna tear my ass up and made with that name. So when did you when did you change it to LL Cool G? Uh I started when I was in high school. I started wearing like when Cool G was like popping, popping. Like like late like two thousands when Coogee was popping popping, I used to wear nothing but Coogee like nothing shoes hats pants Coogee I mean I was really I was really Coogee down to the socks I got old pictures like I was really Coogee down to the socks for real, and and niggas that know me from my hood and from my school will tell you like that's why they call Coogee Coogee because at school that's all that nigga used to rock every day different Coogee fit different Coogee hats different Coogee he was always Coogee down to the socks different fits all the time jackets all that shit. So like they just started calling me that shit. I just went with what niggas call me. I wasn't even really thinking about as I got older that niggas gonna think I'm biting LL Cool J. You know what I'm saying? Because that it it be more a lot of old heads and more most likely New Yorkers that that feel a way about that. But it's like, bro, in hindsight, they they uh, they gotta understand, man. Like even if that was the case, like you was living it. This was your life. If, if, yeah, yeah, if this yeah, was yeah, your like like even if even if that was the case. And y'all feel like that? Bro, why would I not name myself after the most fucking electrifying one of the, 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 the came up with the fucking definition of GOAT? This nigga, right. they ne never lost the battle. Like, never, like, this nigga is like LL Cool J is the first rap superstar. Why wouldn't I want to be like a nigga like that? Like, people always, like, people from New York are very territorial with they stuff. Like, they always, like, like, like anything that's created there, they just supposed to think that nobody supposed to like. Uh, you inspire people. We, we are. I'm, I love New York. I'm inspired by that type of shit. I'm inspired yeah. by being an MC. Like, he, I, I'm just an MC, bro. And like, at the end of the day, like, I was really like, like they really named me that. The niggas named me that. I didn't just come up with my name, LL Cool G. Niggas named me that. Did you ever have any beef over your name from New Yorkers or in high school? People trying to play with your name? Like, you ever had any issues when it came to people, your name? Man, people always, people always try to play with my name, but niggas know I beat the shit out of niggas. 
I just had to get that out because I knew it was coming because yeah, I've never seen nobody play. I mean, bro, people I rap the, niggas going to do what they do. Bro, like, I just, I just, I, I recently, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I bro, I, I remember I was on here, I was on here before when motherfucker Jesse Reekin was playing with me. Right. Was that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. With, you the, feel with the Averb situation. You and, know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, like, told niggas, like, bro, hey, bro, you ain't got to, told people all the time, man, like, uh, Hey man, look, bro, it, you ain't got like niggas be because I, I don't even talk to like niggas for real or kick it around battle rappers or even like a lot of niggas and talk to people in real life for real. Like, you know, I'm always up to myself. So it's like, bro, niggas just be mad. I feel like niggas just be trying to find a way to, to test me. You know, niggas always trying to find a way to test you, bro. Always. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and see what they can get away with. Because if I would have let uh, uh, Jesse get away with that, other niggas would have been trying to try some gay shit with me too. You feel me? So right. why would you ask a uh, motherfucking a straight nigga? Is he gay? What the fuck is wrong with you? Right, right. Yeah, Jesse was out, and Jesse is a good dude though. I just Jesse just didn't have that balance at the time. But you know, shout out I to mean, Jesse. I mean, he used to playing with niggas like Norbs and shit. That's why. Yeah, that's why I say you can't re- play games with everybody because everybody ain't on that type of that time. Freaky ass, the freaky ass games, bro. The fuck niggas all, man. Yeah, that was crazy. I remember that. That was one of the classic moments, bro, that you had that I had on my show. I forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, bro. I, I never forget man, about look, it. Man, you're the ask hmm. niggas, man, outside. Nigga, niggas done seen me fight niggas. I didn't do all. I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go fight a nigga before I pick up anything, think, do anything else. You feel me? So I tell niggas, bro, like, bro, stop playing with me, bro. Like, why? Because I'm a cool, because I'm a nigga that know saying that I'm going to come to the event, dress fly, Cartier frames on, nigga, no fucking, uh, uh, just the diamond cuts grill in my mouth, fresh, smelling good, niggas thinking niggas ho. Why the clean cut niggas got to be ho? That's crazy, right? Why the clean cut niggas? I, 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 I be feeling burned when he be talking like, bro, why the niggas that's clean got to be hoes, bro? Like, why y'all niggas think niggas ho? If you guys want to hear the rest of this dope conversation with K and Seven, Make sure you go check out the This Is Battle Rap podcast, available now on all listening platforms. That's the ashes, dust in the dust, loyalty over money, but the money we trust. Nick die young, see now I get back in the dust. Cold game, cause the nigga look exactly like us. The strap that I bust, fully auto with a drum on it. Close your eyes, silent just for one moment. She thought the news was fake till she seen her son on it. Fake news, great dudes born to break rules. I was taught even broke niggas paid.